is a very big day. So, so often in life, you, you really never know when something monumental is, is happening. Uh, but within the, the course of the Colbrookdale Railroad's history, and frankly, for my life personally, this is a really big day. Uh, I'm very excited. Uh, the Colbrookdale's first steam locomotive is about to be loaded uh, to make its journey from Colorado back to the state where it was built, Pennsylvania. Today what will happen is the boiler will be lifted off of the chassis of the locomotive and the boiler will be put onto one truck. The chassis, which is the wheels and the cylinders and the drive rods and so on and so forth, will be lifted onto another truck and uh, both those will caravan to, to Boyertown. The tender will be winched uh, onto a third truck. Okay, what's going on now is we're getting two cranes set up into position and we're getting our rigging set the way we want to pick the locomotive's tender. So we're running into a little bit of an issue where we're having to cut custom blocks to go in between the frame of the locomotive and the straps to keep the straps away from the tender tank to prevent crush, but more importantly, to prevent the straps from being cut. If you'll notice, we have run the straps through the truck frames to be able to pick the truck and the tank in one smooth move and set it on the trailer. wrap the barrel in two places. We're going to use two cranes for stability and for ease of setting. We will be using what are called spreaders to prevent any of the angle coming in crushing on anything. So uh, the pick will be engineered and done very carefully using uh, a 70 and a 100 ton crane. What's going on now is we've got our rigging set right in front of the firebox and right where the tube sheet in the front of the locomotive are, two strongest points where we can make our pick. We are slowly lifting the front end to make sure that everything is properly disconnected and there's no problems. We have two safety bolts in the rear that we're removing. Once they're removed, we'll be ready to lift the boiler straight up, pull the chassis out from underneath it, and back the trailer in. our main goal is to safely pick everything up, set it on the trucks, get it tied down so we can start going down the highway. I'm going to move the chassis from here to where it's going in Pennsylvania. Greg's a very, very seasoned veteran and the trailer that the chassis is going to go on will be about 125 feet long and he'll come in at about 200,000 pounds. So it takes a special kind of driver to be able to maneuver that in tight places. You can't just take off and drive. You've got to know what your turns are, you know, uh, any construction issues, you know, it just, you got to do some, some uh, homework before you do it. I mean, there's just so much that has to be calculated and done before you even get the load put on the trailer that it's just, it's just, everything is just interested about it. Then you get it on and you're going down the road and people's, you know, they're, they're taking pictures. You're going through these little towns. Everybody, you know, they're whooping their phones out. 
and their their video and you going through town you know yeah definitely proud to be part of it i mean you take something that's you know way over 100 years old and you get the privilege of moving it you know and then when you get it there and then come back a year or two years later and actually see it running it uh it makes you feel really good well i mean so one nice thing about the engine is it was built in pittsburgh pennsylvania and so it's going back home i mean going back to the state it was built in so that's a nice piece of history for the locomotive up at the Colebrookdale Railroad. I am thrilled that the locomotive is returning to the state where it was built, um, but I do know uh, it's a bittersweet moment for the folks here in Colorado who uh, will be losing number 18 as it makes its journey back to Pennsylvania. Uh, 18's had a wonderful career here in Alamosa. Uh, it had a wonderful career on the Grand Canyon Railroad and on the Mount Hood Railroad as well. And I can say to all of the folks here in Colorado that we will take great care of number 18. We're going to put it back into service and I invite them to come and ride uh, the locomotive anytime they might like. So this is as much symbolic as it is aesthetic, but these were the reporting marks for the company that acquired 18 by default through the bankruptcy of the previous owner. And I think it's important uh, in the sort of psychic history of number 18 that we remove this mark uh, and return it to the black uh, that it was before because 18's life is about to begin again.